With astrophotography workflows, Affinity Photo has a feature called File Groups that can dramatically speed up the stacking process when multiple datasets are involved. I'll show you an example. First, I'll go to File, New Astrophotography Stack, to enter the Astrophotography Stack Persona or Workspace. Then I'll start adding data by clicking the Add Files button. Here I have some data of the Triangulum Galaxy that I've gathered with a monochrome camera setup. I've already separated the data into folders based on the filter type. I've captured red, green, blue, and luminance broadband data. To begin with, I'll add the red filter data in the R folder. So I'll shift click and select all the fit files, then choose open. I'll see a preview of my individual light frames here and I can inspect each light frame individually by selecting it from the files list. I'm using calibrated fit data, but if you are stacking raw data and also have your calibration frames, you would add them by using the type dropdown to change the frame type and choose add files for each type of calibration frame you have. I'll move back to light frames. Then I'll change the filter option to red. This option will tag the stacked data layer once stacking has been performed. We will see the benefit of doing this soon. Now I'll click the folder icon to the right of the file group dropdown. My red data will disappear. I've now created another file group into which I will add my next set of data. I'll click Add Files, navigate to my green data, and add these fit files and I'll change the filter option to green. I'll add a third file group, then add my blue data, changing the filter option to blue. And finally, I'll repeat this process for my luminance data. Once I have all of my datasets added, I'll click Stack in the top left of the interface. An Affinity Photo will then begin the stacking process. Rather than having to stack each dataset individually, I am using file groups to register and stack all of the datasets one after the other. There is a huge time-saving benefit to this approach. Not only does it tag each stacked layer based on the filter choice, but it also aligns all the data sets automatically for you. I can demonstrate this by clicking through the stacked data layers down here on the stacked images panel. Having inspected my stacked data, I can now click apply to move back to the main photo persona for further tone stretching and editing. At this point, I may want to use the crop tool to crop away the edge detail where the data layers do not overlap. Then I can color map and tone stretch my data using whichever workflow I prefer. My choice here would be to use macros to tone stretch each data layer individually and then remap them non-destructively to specific colors, blending them all together using a linear add blend mode and balancing out the signal strength of each data layer using linear fit. Another use for file groups would be when working with data acquired over multiple nights where each session would require separate calibration frames. In this example, I'm stacking data of the Orion Nebula imaged over two nights. I have separated the light frames and calibration frames from each night into separate folders. So I will add my light frames, bias frames, dark frames, and flat frames from the first night into file group 1. Then I will create a second file group and I will add my light frames, bias frames, dark frames and flat frames from the second night into file group 2. Because I am working with one shot color data here, I will omit the filter option entirely. If you are working with monochrome data, be sure to tag your data correctly with the appropriate filter, since different sets of data across multiple file groups whose filter option matches 
will then be stacked together and become one layer. I'll click Stack. And when the stacking process completes, I will have one final stacked layer that combines both sets of data, each calibrated with their own unique set of calibration frames. I can click Apply to bring this layer through to the main photo persona for further editing. And there we go. That was a quick video on using file groups when stacking astrophotography data. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.